Hey YouTube, NWA Prepper here. Coming at you today to talk about Christmas. Had a couple of friends that were uh, needing some supplies. And I've got a, a deal where I can order some from a company. I had some pretty decent pricing, so I thought I would... Uh, I've already dumped it out of the box, so i kind of not doing an unboxing for you. But I thought I'd show you some of the cool things that we've got to add to our emergency first aid kits. And a couple pouches that are cool. And just some stuff that to go with our emergency kits that I've been talking about lately. The need for medical stuff is so important. And some of this is easy to improvise. And then... Some of it is harder to improvise, but you can. But if things are on sale, or if, like in the instance of this, if you've got the capabilities to gain some advanced equipment and you can learn to use it, it's a great thing. So let's get started, and we'll start over here on one end and kind of work our way around. High fin vent twin pack of chest seals now what these are and then we got a few of them what these are for or are for penetrating trauma to the chest such as a gunshot wound and that's just an example I mean there's tons of in and out trauma to the chest car wrecks you know industrial accidents farm accidents all kinds of those but these right here, what I like about these is they fold up and then they've got reminder instructions and that's all they are, if they're reminder instructions on how to use them. But each package comes with an entry wound and an exit wound chest seal. And I really like these kind because you can not see them there. I'll put a link in the uh, description. But they've got vents on both sides. So they let air out, but they won't let it back into a chest wound. They're really, really handy, and I, I really like these. And these are relatively inexpensive, $16, $17, uh, maybe, maybe 18 I forget. But it's less than 20 for for an entrance wound and an exit wound. All right, well, we're back, and we're going to talk about combat action tourniquets. That's what this guy right here is. A Cat 7. Uh, they've got some improvements in them. Sorry about the glare, everyone. Got some improvements in them. And there's some great, great things about a combat action tourniquet. Talked about them a little bit in the past. And, of course, those these are still in the package. They haven't been torn open and stuffed in pouches yet. But if you'll notice the blue one, and the blue one is a trainer. So that that myself and and anyone that I want to teach or anyone that wants to practice can actually practice putting on a combat action tourniquet practice how to fold it how to put it in their pouches or holders I mean practice is great the more you practice the easier something will be the more second nature it will be just like with your firearms training your first aid training needs to be practiced all the time so we've got the trainer here that actually won't cut off blood flow, but everything else about it is exact. And then we have two of the, the real deal combat action tourniquet cat sevens. And then there are two of these soft sided Molly tourniquet holders. And these you can mount to your backpacks, to your to your plate carrier, to your first aid kit bag, to the back of your car seat. And then we've got a couple colors there. I'm kind of an OD guy, but... So there they are. Combat action tourniquets, a trainer, and some holders. Alright. Now we've come to the combat gauze, or quick clot, Z-folded trauma bandages. And these have the quick clot impregnated in the bandage that will help coagulate blood on pretty severe wounds and it's vacuum packed it's it, there's more in here it's three inches by four yards of bandage 
in each one of these with the quick clot added to them. Now, the thing about these is once you put them in, you know it, somebody's got to dig it all out. But quick clot is a pretty good brand of it from what I understand. I've only used it a couple of times at work, so. But they are a little bit pricey. Um, these, I want to say, the quick clot ones were, oh goodness, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, maybe, maybe 36. So these don't come around my house very often. Special treat, and these actually aren't for me, but for, for a friend who thought they were worth it. It's not that I don't. I've got one in my personal blowout kit. But I just don't have them in my for everyone kit. Because of the cost. And there's some other options that that I like just as much. For, for when I'm close to a hospital type situation. And we'll talk about those next. So stand by. Compressed gauze. I really like the way these are packaged. And these are just like four and a half by four yards, regular gauze, normally in a big roll. But if you'll see, I mean, it's vacuum packed, folded good and tight. And this is the same size as a big roll that you've seen in the past. Uh, Curlex is a brand name of it. And so I got some of these pretty much anytime I order from North American Rescue. I'll pick up a few of those that I really like. And then the other one here is the same size, but it's rolled differently. It's rolled like an S. And it's not focusing very well, I apologize. But it's six ply, it's just like a Curlex. And it's just rolled some this way, and then it attaches to a roll the other way. And it's easier for you to use on wounds. All right, the next thing that we got for one of my friends who uh, actually is, is a paramedic is like a vacuum sealed uh, pretty rugged IV start kit it's called a saline lock clip kit and it's got everything that you need to do to start a, an IV lock or to insert your IV and have a port where you can give medicines or fluids uh, and have it ready and you can see it's packaged like most things good vacuum seal heavy duty packaging and of course this is an advanced scale or an ALS scale that you need a license to to practice right now anyway and so that that's something that but it did come in the pack so I wanted to share it with you saline lock kits for advanced IV starting and the last couple things we have here are a couple of IFAC packages or IFAC bags, individual first aid kit bags. The first one here is called an Eagle bag and I've got it open but it's got a Velcro tab on it and you pull it open and then it's got this platform that's got bungees all up and down it. And this actually comes out. You can hear the Velcro behind it. When you rip on this it pulls itself out and it's molly like everything cool is. And then that whole thing comes out and you take it, hand it, and use whatever you need on it. But that is an Eagle IFAC from North American Rescue. It's pretty popular. It's pretty slim. It's a pretty good deal. I, of course, I like a different one that I've talked about several times. But this is an alright one. And uh, for what he's going to use it for, it's a good bag. And this is the one that I really like is a this is called a visor kit or an eye visor and it's got this metal clip to clip it to your car visor and this good sturdy hard platform in addition to you can mount it to a pack or anything like that but this pouch is totally designed to stuff with stuff to put in your car just one big open pouch and it's got some Loctite to adjust these screws how you want them and, and make them where they don't go. So this strap will hang over your visor and you just grab it and pull it off 
it's a good good idea good pouch I'm probably gonna put that in my car and if I like it then I'll get one for my wife's but that's the visor medic kit and the eagle eye fact both really neat ideas a little bit different than I normally have around so I thought I'd share with you so now we're back to uh, just kind of mentioning guys it's really important that you have this medical equipment even if it even if you're just buying a dollar box of band-aids and a dollar bandage would you go to the store once a week you need to have these consumables these emergency medical supplies handy for for everything and I'm not talking just you know uh, disasters big time disaster stuff I'm talking for the kids fall down on their bikes or you have a car wreck or your neighbors do or the tree falls on your neighbor's house or all kinds of accidents that happen every day these kind of medical supplies will be invaluable to have quickly and easily accept accessible this is nwa prepper saying thanks for watching share our channel subscribe and we'll try to keep some good videos coming your way thanks for watching let's get ready <laughs>